Okay, hi everybody. I'm going to talk to you about the quadrilateral hierarchy. Now, the hierarchy of quadrilaterals is a, um, it's kind of like a flow chart. It's a chart that can help you understand that some shapes can go by other names as well because they fit the criteria, criteria for some shapes. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. So remember, these are all quadrilaterals, which means they all have four sides. Now, when we're reading this chart, remember when we go down, sometimes the thing above it is the thing below it. But when we go up, it is always the shapes above it. So for example, we have our quadrilateral that has four sides. Any, any shape with four sides, if that is a polygon is a quadrilateral. Um, there's really, I mean, not some of them um, are going to be like really irregular, meaning they're different shapes or whatever. But most of our quadrilaterals will also be a trapezoid. And if you remember from our last session, a trapezoid is a shape um, that is a quadrilateral and it has at least one pair of parallel sides. Key words here are at least, okay? Because sometimes it has more than one pair of parallel sides, okay? So um, let's see. I'm gonna underline at least, because that's important. Um, these guys have parallel sides here. There's one parallel side that is parallel to this one. They will never touch. So this is a, um, I watch them call it a trapezoid. And this right here, has parallel sides right here and here. This is a trapezoid. The top and bottom are not parallel because it's going up slightly at the angle, at an angle at the top. Okay, so these are trapezoids. All trapezoids are always, always, always quadrilaterals. Okay, because when I go up, it's always. So now let's talk about parallelograms. Parallelograms are, um, are, a type of quadrilateral. They are trapezoids because they have at least one pair of parallel sides. Um, it's important to note here that opposite sides are parallel and opposite sides are congruent, which means if we look here, this side is parallel to this side. And then also this top here, sorry about my not very straight lines, is parallel to that one. So they're opposite sides. There are two pairs of parallel sides for a parallelogram. Opposite sides are equal or congruent as well. So remember, as we're going um, up the hierarchy, it's always. So all parallelograms are always trapezoids, and all parallelograms are also always quadrilaterals. Okay, next we have this rectangle here. A rectangle is a parallelogram, so it has two pairs of parallel sides, right? The left and the right are parallel, the top and the bottom are parallel. There's four right angles. This is very important. This is what sets it apart from other parallelograms, four 90 degree or right angles. These are also sometimes called square angles. They're the ones that go like this, like the corner of a paper, okay? So, as I'm looking at the definition, I know all rectangles are going to be parallelograms because opposite sides are parallel. There's two sets of parallel lines in a rectangle. Um, and remember, when I go up, it's always that thing above it. So all rectangles are parallelograms, all rectangles are trapezoids, and all rectangles are quadrilaterals. Okay, so now let's look at a rhombus. Now, this one is one that for some reason, some of us just kind of have a hard time remembering the definition of it. Sorry about that. All right. So a rhombus is a quadrilateral, and the quadrilateral has four equal sides or four congruent sides. Okay, remember this right here. It's not a diamond because diamonds don't necessarily have to have equal sides. Rhombuses all have equal sides. All four sides are the same. All rhombuses have opposite sides that are parallel. So all rhombuses are parallelograms. And that's why we're going to draw a line up, an arrow up. And remember, all rhombuses are parallelograms. All rhombuses are trapezoids. And all rhombuses are quadrilaterals. Okay. Finally, that brings us to this, our most specific shape, which is a square. A square has four equal sides, four right angles. Opposite sides are equal, of course, since there's four congruent sides. 
opposite sides are parallel. A rectangle is a magical, um, a magical shape because it's all of the quadrilaterals above it. It is a rhombus because it has four equal sides. It's a special type of rhombus. A square is also a rectangle because it has those four right angles and um, two pairs of perpendicular sides. It's a rectangle. A square is also a parallelogram, a trapezoid, and a quadrilateral because it's always a thing above it. Now, when we're looking at rectangles, some rectangles, so sometimes sometimes rectangles are squares, but that's only if they have equal sides. But when we go up, it is always that thing above it. Okay, so let's go ahead and practice. Let's take a look at some of our um, different shapes. So let's, look, let's name that quadrilateral, my favorite game show. So I want us to look here at the, um, at the popcorn box. Let me outline. Loop. This popcorn box right here. It is a quadrilateral because it has four sides, right? Sorry, my sides are not very straight. But you guys know what to see. Okay, so let's think about what is the most specific name. We're going to name that quadrilateral. I know this is a very exciting game show, isn't it? Okay, so when hopefully you guys said, hey, that's a trapezoid. And we know it's a trapezoid because it has one pair of parallel sides. The top and the bottom are parallel. The side and um, the ones on the left and right are not parallel. It's a trapezoid. Remember, all trapezoids here are always quadrilateral. So it's a trapezoid and a quadrilateral. Quadrilateral. There we go. All right, moving on to the next one. We're going to name that quadrilateral. We're looking at this right here. Of course, we're going to pretend all the sides are straight. All the sides are straight. And I'm looking, it has four sides. Okay, parallel sides. Oh, I don't see any parallel sides. Hopefully, you said this is just a quadrilateral, Mrs. Hayes. It is none of those other things. It is a quadrilateral. It is nothing else because it doesn't have any parallel sides. Let's go ahead and look at another one. Name that quadrilateral. We're going to name that big shape um, on the outside. I'll give you a minute because you probably are listing quite a few shapes right now. Remember, it's not just one shape, it's multiple shapes. All right, hopefully you said, hey, that's a square because it has four congruent sides, right? One, two, three, four. It is a square. Remember, all squares are also rhombuses. They are also rectangles. Ooh, rectangle. I'm going to have to move this guy over. Oop, here we go. It's a rectangle. I'm going to maybe make this smaller. Sorry. Come on. Okay, rhombus, rectangle. Um, it's also a parallelogram. We're just going to go up that chart. It is a trapezoid. It has at least one pair of parallel sides. And of course, it is a quadrilateral. So remember, a square is the most specific shape. It's everything above it. Remember, like root off the quadrilateral. All right, let's name that quadrilateral. Hopefully, you named that as a parallelogram. It is a parallelogram because it has opposite sides are parallel. Opposite sides are equal. But remember, most quadrilaterals have more than one name. Let's look above it. It's not just a parallelogram. It's also a trapezoid because it has at least one pair of parallel sides. And it is also a quadrilateral. Remember to go up that chart. All right, we have just two more. Okay, so we're going to look at the blue part of the flag here. Name that quadrilateral. Um, hopefully you said that's a rectangle. Oh, wait, just kidding. We're not going to norm that. Okay, so it is a rectangle. Okay, and it's not just a rectangle. It is a parallelogram. It is a trapezoid and it is a quadrilateral because it's everything above it. And last but not least, we have this guy right here. What shape is this? 
name that quadrilateral. Okay, hopefully you said, hey, all four sides are equal. That is a rhombus, but it's not just a rhombus. We're going to look above it. It's everything above it too. It's a parallelogram. Ooh, it's not a rhombus. It's a rhombus. Remember, because I took the rhombus. <laughs> okay, parallelogram. Um, trapezoid and a quadrilateral. Okay, hopefully this helped you remember to use these charts to help you identify the names of quadrilaterals. The most important thing you have to remember, you have to memorize this chart. It's, you can't really like do um, a whole lot with it if you don't know it. You have to memorize. But the important things to know is it's always the things above it. All right, guys. Um, have fun on your scavenger hunt.